What's up YouTube? So, you find yourself at a dilemma. You've decided to start up your own YouTube channel. Or maybe you have a school video project you want to edit for. Or maybe you just want to start your own production. But whatever the reason is, you're a beginner and you want to see which software to go to for video editing. Inevitably, you'll stumble upon Adobe. But then you find Adobe is complicated because they offer more than one video editing tool. On one side, you have Adobe's newer Adobe Premiere Rush. On the other side, you have Adobe Premiere Pro. And while both these are video editing softwares, they're intended for two separate target audiences. Now you're in a dilemma, which one is right for you? Well, I'm gonna explain to you and give you a quick rundown of what benefits both of these offers and which one might be right for you. Let's start with the newer of the two platforms, Adobe Rush. Now in the past few years, we have seen social media become a huge thing. Social media influencers are massive. You have YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and many other platforms where social media influencers are actually presenting videos. And as this goes on more and more, people want a quick snappy solution to get their video editing going. Rush hopes to fill that gap. Adobe Rush basically offers all the tools you'd expect in a video editing software. Unlike many other complex softwares like Adobe's own Premiere Pro, Rush hopes to be a one-job tool. Basically, what I mean by that is Rush has a bunch of presets built in. For example, aside from basic functionality like being able to add clips or audio, trimming them and cutting them and sequencing them, you can also have presets for audio. So audio ducking is enabled. So whenever you add any audio clips into Adobe Rush, it automatically stabilizes their levels to make sure it sounds consistent throughout the entire video. Furthermore, you have built-in presets for color grading. So basically that means you have filters, so you can apply a filter to your video and Rush will process the whole thing for you. While you don't have a full palette, this is great for anyone who wants quick filters like you'd find on Instagram or Snapchat. And that's exactly what Rush is trying to do here. Adobe Rush also presents you with other basic features you expect in a video editing software like the ability to add text or even graphics to be honest. Adobe Rush has a preset amount of graphics that you can add into your videos as you please or you can browse through the integrated Adobe Stock Store within the application and add those graphics directly from there. Once again, this is to reiterate that Rush wants to be just a one-time tool that gets everything done as opposed to relying on multiple tools to make a great video. Still here? That's awesome. If you're enjoying the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and helping me grow. It helps me produce more quality content for you guys. Let's move on. Adobe Premiere Pro, on the other hand, is like the holy grail of video editing software for YouTube professionals. It does everything Rush can do, but better. It can do everything Rush can do, but in more detail. You get the point. Basically, Adobe Premiere Pro is a full comprehensive tool. It has the ability to take audio levels and it has a full built-in audio manager. You can add equalizers, you can adjust it manually, Manually. You can do manual color grading and increase the color palette as you see fit. You also have the capability to actually take visualizations and apply them across different transitions. Unlike Adobe Rush, you don't have a fixed preset of transitions. You can try many other transitions. Did I mention you also have third-party plugin support? That means you can import transitions for other effects from other tools and have them added straight to Premiere Pro. So Premiere Pro, like I said, is way more comprehensive. Additionally, there are some things that just can't happen on Rush that you need Premiere Pro for. For example, you want to have a clip with multiple angles coming all at once in one sequence. You need Premiere Pro because you need that crop function also, let's say your clip is really shaky, you can add in cool video effects like warp stabilizer which will reduce the shakiness and actually make it look like the camera was very steady. Once again, these are power hungry tools that need Adobe Premiere Pro to run effectively. Despite this, it is worth noting that Premiere Pro isn't intended necessarily to be a one-stop tool. Basically, what I mean by this is that, for example, if you want to do animations, you're better off doing them on Adobe's After Effects once you've compressed and compiled the video together. Also, fun fact, did you know that Deadpool as well as Gone Girls was entirely edited on Adobe Premiere Pro? So it's quickly become an industry standard. This wasn't always the case. Premiere Pro used to be more of an amateur tool, but now it is Hollywood grade. Let's talk about probably the second most important aspect when you're a beginner going into video editing software, and that's having a user-friendly software. 
Adobe Premiere Pro can seem very intimidating to a first time user. You have a lot going on on each screen, you have a lot of tabs, and it can get very confusing very quickly. You'll find yourself on Google every 15 seconds to figure out what each function does or where it's even located. Adobe Rush, on the other hand, is designed to be a super easy tool to learn. So if you've ever used the likes of iMovie, for example, where you only have a handful of tools and they're right in front of your face, that's exactly what Rush does. Adobe Rush basically has a generic page where it shows you all your clips you simply drag and drop them they're all magnetic so you don't have ripple deletes or you don't have to worry about spaces in your movie everything snaps together once you trim it the next sequence just snaps right next to it if you add layers they're usually in a big fat interface which is designed to make it easy for you to see what you're doing also the number of tabs you have are limited so you have your editing tab and then you have your share tab within the share tab Instead of having a dedicated media export option or choosing the type of media you want to export, you just choose the platform you want it for. If you want it for YouTube or Instagram, you just click that, you set the resolution, and that's it. It exports it for you, and it can even publish directly onto the social media website, should you prefer that. I would definitely say, if you're looking to learn video editing software and it is your absolute first time, consider Rush. Even if you want to use Premiere in the long run, Rush will give you an idea of how it works, and its user-friendly design lets you adapt very fast. And then when you move on to Premiere Pro, you're not intimidated because you understand the basics of video editing. So that is one big advantage I would say Rush has over Premiere Pro. Let's move on to pricing. In terms of pricing, Adobe Rush, as you may have guessed, is considerably cheaper. Now, Adobe has adopted a subscription model, so you can't buy these softwares one time anymore. I wish you could. However, in the case of Adobe Rush, you can actually own it monthly for $10 USD every month. Adobe Premiere Pro costs more than double that. You're gonna be paying $21 USD every month to have Premiere Pro. Of course, it's worth noting that when you subscribe to Premiere Pro, you get Rush automatically with your subscription. Another key difference between Rush and Premiere Pro is their application. So for example, Rush actually has amazing cross-platform support. You can actually use the Adobe Rush application on your iPhone, Android device, or your desktop PC. And thanks to Adobe's cloud solutions, you can actually start a project on your iPhone. As long as you have a sync to your Adobe cloud account, you can actually resume that project straight on your desktop seamlessly. The entire project file is just there and you can add all the finishing touches you need to. And then of course, export it directly from there. Adobe Premiere Pro is a desktop class application. So it doesn't have a dedicated application for iPhone, tablets, or Android. However, like I said earlier, this is an application that is power hungry and reasonable hungry and it's designed to give you a full comprehensive suite where you have all the options you would need to perform quality editing. An additional thing to note is that Premiere Rush has full compatibility with Premiere Pro. So if you've already edited a file in Adobe Rush, you can actually open that on Premiere Pro without any issues and the whole file will open just the way you created on Rush and then you can add those additional effects as you upgrade towards Premiere Pro. So now that we've gone over the basic elements of what these softwares are capable, how much they cost, and exactly what limitations they have, I think it's worth saying that we can draw a definitive conclusion who these are for. Ask yourself really, am I just doing this to have a quick snappy YouTube video? So if you're doing a makeup tutorial and you just wanna show your makeup, you may not need the full functionality of let's say color grading, or you may not need a bunch of animations, or you may not need a lot of fancy text or cropping capabilities. In that case, you might just need a quick snappy editing tool to put your clips together, cut unwanted scenes, and quickly export it onto YouTube or other social media platforms. In that case, consider Rush. You're also saving money. Right Now on the other side, you have Adobe Premiere Pro, which like I said, is very comprehensive. If you're someone who's gonna be spending a lot of time doing high quality productions, or if you are working for a client, or also, you know, if you want to create movie-like footages, you might need all the functionality Premiere Pro has to offer. You may need that color grading or that extensive cropping capability or stabilization capability. And that way you can fulfill, you know, what you're paying every month for Adobe Premiere Pro. But really it comes down to that particular balance. I think Adobe Rush is a great tool for beginners, but also a great tool for anyone who just wants to quickly edit on the fly and get their video uploaded as fast as they can. 
and Premiere Pro can certainly fill those steps, but it has a whole lot more to offer. And if you're not gonna be taking advantage of that, you will be paying a lot more for something you're not fully utilizing. I hope you guys found this overview to be helpful. Now, we can go more in depth on either of these softwares. If you guys are interested in seeing a video about either of these two softwares, let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to consider making one. As always, if you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me grow and produce more quality future content for you guys. Other than that, until next time, Soul Tech, logging out.